<laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Ed. I'm in my armchair, and the smoking lamp is lit. And guess what I'm smoking today? My favorite pipe. But look at this guy. This is a Stanwell. <laughs> Hans Christian Andersen. Brushed. I don't know why I just kind of, I got about four or five of these brushed pipes now. I just love them. Love this. And this is my newest pipe. And also, let me, let me explain. This also comes with a um, stem to make it a church warden. So it's Hans Christian Andersen's from Stanwell have the two stems with them. But, as you may know, um, I get a fair amount of my pipes first through like estate pipes, eBay, whatever. So I have three, four Han Christian Anderson pipes, one of which only has kind of the regular stem, and the other two only have the church warden stems. This is the first one I got both of them. Wow, you know. <laughs> anyway, the church warden stem on this pipe, and I like church wardens, but it just um, just wasn't quite right for this pipe and having this two of them. So f for the most part, I'll be just smoking it regular. I'll put it down as a regular regulator pipe, you know. So as I said, this is my newest pipe. And it's been, I got this close to a month ago. That's phenomenal for me. But I'll tell you why. Not that I'm necessarily saving up for, but next week, I'm going on a golf trip with my buddies. We go all over the United States. This trip, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. We're going to be playing six rounds of golf. And I'll be with three other guys, so not really able to socialize too much for somebody else. But I will, we've set it up, I will be able to visit Gatlin Burrier, Richard, the Dread Tiger. I'm going to meet him for the first time. That'll be Friday, the 6th of October. I expect to be there about 4 or 5 o'clock. Um, won't be there too long, but if anybody else is in that area, I'd love to meet you. That'll be a chance to do it. Um, and I'm looking forward to it because I don't have any pipe shops around here. We have a lot of tobacco shops, but they've all been changed to just cigar and in some cases vape. Vape. <laughs> Anywho, I hope to see, well, definitely going to see Richard. And since I'll be go into my first pipe shop in really quite a while since Boswell's about a year and a half ago. 
I wouldn't be surprised if I buy a few pipes <laughs> and stuff. So I've been busy with my old International Smoke Ring Day. I hope you had a chance to see the kind of recap, whatever that I did, because it took me a lot of time to put that together. Mainly because I'm old and feeble. <laughs> anyway, just a reminder that that's out there. For those that haven't watched it, show you a little bit about what's going on with um, International Smoke Ring Day. And uh, I'll try to put a little thing in the bucket. Just in case. But because of that, I had a little, I have a little catching up to do. Um, Uncle Willie. Now, remember, Uncle Willie is not my uncle. Okay? So don't try and think that I'm just saying this because he's part of the family. Look what Uncle Willie gave me. We got a little bit of brown bogey, a little bit of brown twist, and a little bit of dark bird's eye. Just cause. That's the way Uncle Willie is. He sent out a bunch of this to a bunch of us. Just cause. I'll tell you. Something else. And hopefully I'll be getting to Boswell's for our meetup, but we'll have to see. Not sure the, the date yet on that. Be good. And something else. Look at this guy. A little flask with a golfer on it for my golf trip. This I've had for a while. I got this from WhatsApp. Remember, I got, gave a few pipes away from him and also got a, a meerschaum from him that I had to kind of repair, get a stem for. And he also sent me this. Now, you guys that have trouble getting tobacco and stuff, let it be known that this was filled <laughs> by him. And this made it through the mail. It was filled with um, juice. Yeah, juice. <laughs> so thank you, what's up, Bernie? <laughs> I'll be using this on my trip. So the main part of this video is going to be a VR. But before we get to a VR, Smarty Bob showed us the gravity method of packing your pipe. And a few people have kind of mentioned that in their videos. Well, that's fine, but really, what we really need to do is test it with the scientific method. So, Dr. Beauregard Gustafsson is going to do a blind test of the gravity fill method from Smarty Bob. This will be the definitive test. So take it away, Dr. Bo.
As you can see, the results are in. Dr. Bo had a problem with the gravity fill method for um, packing your pipe. No matter what he did, he couldn't get the pipe lit. using the scientific method. And now, a VR to smoking cardboard. And for those guys that have been around a little while, the artist formerly known as Steve Coddington. You've been around, you know what I mean. <laughs> Steve is having a goal for 1,000 subs, 1,000 subs, gotta like it. Steve also kind of got started about the same time I did. It's kind of just keeping track of him. Um, of course, his 1,000 subs, I think, are a little bit more of the intellectual types versus mine are 1,000 is uh, kind of, well, I'll, a lot of your guys need some therapy if you've been watching me for a lot. <laughs> and definitely you've been paying attention to Dr. Bo. <laughs> yeah, see a doctor soon. Not Dr. Bo, see another doctor. Steve is asking, what is being in the YTPC, what have you learned? Wow. Okay. I was truly a codger in one sense. I would have one or two blends tobacco and I'd smoke it till I ran out and get some more. That's how I can say that Philosopher, my favorite blend, that was what I smoked for close to 25 years straight. And occasionally I'd get another blend when I would get some of that. But mostly I would buy, you know, two, four ounces, fresh, smoked it. The tinder box was not far from me, so I can just go get some more. Well, that was the way I was. And now I'm retired, I moved here to Pennsylvania and uh, I couldn't get philosopher anymore. So I went to a few of the pipe shops around here at that time, a few of them had some pipe tobacco, but you know, now they're, they've lost, they've gotten rid of it all, just tobacco or cigar shops. So I would test out a couple blends, but still I only had like one or two blends smoked and when I ran out, got some more. When I started paying attention to the YTPC, I hate to say it, but this is where I learned about cellaring. I had no idea that the tobacco could be better if you cellared it. 
I would have just assumed it got worse with age. I really didn't know. I started seeing you got a lot of guys that, you know, have reviews of tobacco. Um, when they'll be smoking their pipe, they'll be talking about the blend that they're having that they really like. Um, so I started learning about and getting a few more tobaccos. I did eventually find out that by going online to Tinderbox, I could get it online. So I got my philosopher, but now I was starting to get other blends. I was getting TAD. Never had that in my life. And then there would be calls that maybe they give away some tobaccos. And with the YTPC, I don't think anybody that I won a, a gall with that offered a tobacco just gave us the one. I'd get four or five other samples, you know, along with it. Um, Steve, also in the Zoom call, I was talking about the tobaccos I like and everything and how I was getting involved with them. He sent me a bunch of tobaccos. Mainly he was thinking the first thing was that squadron leader would be a tobacco I liked. So he gave it to me with about five or six other tobaccos <laughs> at the same time. And then Quadrant's leader was not one that right off the bat I liked. Steve mentioned, well, put it aside. Another year, half a year, try it again. And I did. Now it's um, one of my, it's in a top rotation of mine. It, I love it. So I'm learning about tobaccos, getting samples of tobaccos, finding some tobaccos. Um, I, you know, through the YTPC, you get stuff. I'm like Professor Jeremiah mentioned um, Persian Slipper. I just, oh, I like it. So if he likes it, I gotta like it. You know, and I tried it. Again, that's one of my top blends also. So thank you to the YTPC. Thank you, Steve. And there we go. My VR, the smoking cardboard for 1,000 subs. Anywho, thanks for watching. I probably won't be posting, doing much um, for a couple weeks because of the trip. But I do hope you like this. And if you did, like and subscribe. And remember, if you don't like this, you're not going to get to heaven. So may your smoking lamp always be lit and take care out there.